Welcome back, guys. We got a 100 pack of the new two for one tickets. These are the one dollar tickets from Pennsylvania. All right, let's see if we can keep this under 20 minutes as we usually do with these. This one we need two matching prize amounts in the row uh, to win that prize, and then you can multiply it by the multiplier. Odds on these are one in 4.68. So, all right, let's, let's get underway. I want to thank everybody for. Uh, Stopping through. Oh, we got two bucks out the gate. All right, we'll take it. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta check the multiplier. Oh, I can see the struggle is gonna be real with this one. All right, got two bucks. Okay. I can kind of be like a psychopath. So it doesn't count when they're not in the same row. So I don't want anybody calling me out on that saying that I didn't uh, scratch these right, so. All right, nothing on that one. I'm not going to worry about the bonus area. I mean, they do they do still put a bonus in that area, but it doesn't really mean much if you don't get the matches, the two like amounts. All right, nothing there. All right. For anybody that is in Pennsylvania, how have you done so far with the oh got four bucks how have you done so far with the uh new tickets curious to know what everybody's uh experience is so far with these um technically today is only it's actually still the first day i'm, I'm doing this book <laughs> the first day these tickets come out not five bucks on that one um so i have not done a whole lot with these yet um and uh, yeah, but hopefully they, they play a lot better than Monopoly has because Monopoly has been awful for me. Um, other than the two and the five dollar tickets, the, the 10 and the 30 suck. All right, let's go a little closer here so you guys can see. Yeah, the 10 and the 30 suck. They seem to pay well for anyone named not Jedi. So that's just how it goes. Let me try to mark $2 down on something. Yep, I sure did. No, that was $2. Okay, I was trying to make sure I didn't uh, mark something that was really like a dollar. It's $2 because it was a little confusing. All right, let's keep going. So, all right, nothing there. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I tried to do a $1 book. At least once a month. I know they're not super popular with everyone. Um, but, you know, I try to do a little variety. Um, I did do a bonus on that last one. Yep, I did. Okay. All right. Uh, it's 40 and a 4 at the top. All right, let's keep going. We're on ticket number 10. Let's see, 10 tickets, 3 minutes. All right. That's a 20 and a 2. Nothing there. A lot of scratching on this one, so I'm sure I'll have a lap full of scratch dust by the time this is over. I'm curious to see what our better win in this book is. I'm used to the best win in a $10 book being like 20 bucks. So... We'll see what happens today. And also, my typical return that I'm used to seeing is anywhere between $56 to $65. I have, I have had some that did better than that. Um, I think one of them, I think, got like $76 back one time. I couldn't tell you. I forget the name of the ticket that actually did that well. All right, we're in a dead spot. Uh, we're on ticket number 15. Our last win was on ticket number 8. 5,500 up there. Oh, we got a dollar in the middle. Alright, we'll take that dollar. Take it. All right. A lot of people have been winning claimers lately. Still trying to get on that bus. <laughs> Can't seem to 
buy a ticket to save my life to get on that one. But I'm just going to keep talking about it. Maybe I'll speak it into existence. And then 5000 on this little $1 ticket. You never know. Crazier things have happened. All right, that's... Nope. All right, we're going to take a number 19. Yep, I did. Okay. Yeah, I keep second guessing myself if I scratch the bonus on the winning tickets. Glad I didn't bother vacuuming down here like, over the weekend because this ticket sure as heck is going to cover that right up. All right, got two bucks on that one. Let's see. Keep going. I think we're somewhere around like eleven dollars, something like that. All right, something there. Goodness. Okay, keep going. All right, I think I got some of these tickets upside down when I separated them. I must have done this next set differently. You need to turn them around. Oh, we got a dollar. Okay. We'll do a check-in around like ticket thirty. I probably wouldn't know what to do with myself if I saw like two 5,000 <laughs> symbols there. There's another dollar. One dollar. Hopefully my math isn't off and I don't mess up the counts on here. Alright. Do a couple more and then we'll do a check-in and we'll swap coins out. Today I'm using the Viper Scratch-Offs coin. My great friends, another channel. So if you do not have Viper Scratch Offs, he is out of Maryland, but he does Maryland, Delaware. Every now and then he might tease a Pennsylvania ticket, depending on if his uh, job takes him up that direction. Do one more and then we'll do a check in. Uh, a lot of twos on the bottom one, but all right, let's just peek at what we got. Okay, so we got one, two, four, five, six, seven, twelve, sixteen, eighteen. All right, so we got eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars. Four and forty up there. Kind of messed up the order of those tickets, and so I don't know which one was the real last win. All right, nothing on that one. Big shout out to the Little Britain store. That's where these tickets came from. All right, we got a dollar. Right. One dollar. Every time I think about saying one dollar, I think about that dollar store commercial. Lady walked in, she said, How much is this? And the guy just kept saying, One dollar. Alright. That's four dollars up there. Alright, we got two dollars up there. Alright, let's see what our multiplier is. Alright, we got four bucks on that one. Right, it takes us a little over twenty. Switch coins, go to Johnny 5.0. And they got the best win buried pretty well in this book. They ain't come close to anything significant yet. And another dollar. I'm at two bucks. And we are at nine minutes. Either I'm slowing down or this 
ticket takes longer to scratch per ticket than <laughs> I thought in my head. I could find uh, two 40s in here. That would be uh, special. I don't know that it would guarantee a profit book, but uh, it would definitely put me in line to have the have a really good book. Has anyone checked out the uh, new series on HBO called The Nevers? I actually thought it was pretty good. It, it had an interesting uh, storyline behind it. So I'm definitely going to try and watch the newest one that came out last night. Uh, actually, I, think, I don't know if it was last night. or Yeah, I think it was last night. I think it comes out on Sundays. All right. Okay. I'm going to take a number 44. I feel like I'm in a anime dry spell. Like all the shows that I actually liked are. I right, got four bucks on that one. Or either on a break. Or a couple of them ended. So. That's okay. Summer is coming. I do not plan on being in the house very much. Definitely not going on vacation anywhere this year wife will be getting a procedure done soon so that'll guarantee we definitely won't be going anywhere for uh the next couple months at least at least until july i just want her to get the daggone vaccine i feel a lot better once i know i'm not the only one that's protect it right now. Yeah, she's not against it, but I think she wants to make sure we don't turn into zombies, so Alright, let's see multiplier one X. Whoops, had two tickets at the same time. Alright, let's keep going. Switch up to two acres. Scratch, scratch dust under there. Right. Keep going. Not the most exciting book so far. Haven't found a win over ten bucks yet. It's times like this, I. <laughs> Wish I was live so Stephen Salchi could tell me uh, what to expect in this book. Oh my god, I got a lap full of scratch dust. All right, we got a dollar, another dollar, and five times. All right, so we got 10 bucks there. Got to do all this math. All right, take number 56. $10 was our biggest win so far today. Up in there. Oh, that was $100. All right. Take a two for one. I know there's more spots to scratch, but I don't know what I would call it two for one, but okay, whatever. <laughs> That's why I don't work for the lottery. And I couldn't play like I do. Alright, take a number 61. Get closer.
I feel like my biggest win on a dollar ticket is still hovering around 40 bucks. Alright. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I play so many tickets, it's like fuzzy now. But I feel like it's 40. got two dollars another two uh, I feel a math problem coming all right let's see uh, eight dollars no two four eight oh there we go ten <laughs> duh if I'm saying I don't remember an eight dollar prize on there let's switch up to gold and blue so we hit the ten twice already Tells me when I do find a 20, it's probably going to be by itself and not with a multiplier. That would not surprise me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see a 10 and a 10 with a 5 behind it. Okay, ticket number 70, if I keep in track. I'm pretty confident we have not found the best win in this book yet. Pretty confident. Unless those two tens <laughs> are the best wins, that would be awful. Dust is real over here. Forty and that four gets me every time. To the seventy-four. Ten tickets between wins on that one. Nope. Okay, ticket number seventy-seven. Fake out every time. Wow, pause for a minute. All right. You know, these $1 books are always a good idea until you get like really far into it and then your arm starts hurting. <laughs> like, ugh. It's like my right arm, not the left arm, but the right one. Well, I can't tell you, it does make it easier to scratch these things with a, a big coin like this, because I remember the first time I did, I was doing tickets and books and I was using like quarters and nickels and oh my God, it was, it was terrible. And then, uh, AR Platinum came out with some coins. I mean, he's probably been coming out with coins forever, but I think this, I think the uh, pesky number one was like the first one that I remember seeing. And I was like, yep, I need that. All right, take number 85, getting down to the wire. Still haven't found a win over 10 bucks. All right, so it looks like we got the dollar on this one. We got 4X. Four bucks. All right. 
Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna find something bigger than ten dollars before this last <laughs> couple tickets. Ticket 88. Alright, 5,500. Alright, 89. There's a dollar. Sounds like Yorkie is playing fetch up there. Hey, shout out to all my dog owners out there. You know, it's, it's always a, a great thing. You know, there's really no such thing as a bad dog. But it's always nice when you get one that's just seemingly perfect. Like the Yorkie was, I, I wouldn't call him a rescue, but he was kind of a rescue. But um, he was just such a, just such a perfect dog, so... He's definitely uh, what some people would call a fur baby. Take care of him as, as well as I would a human child. All right, down to four more tickets, five more. Ticket number 95. I don't know. It's starting to look like we might end up with those $10 wins being the best ones in here, which would suck. All right. Okay, got three more. <laughs> Something needs to happen here. All right, got two down. Okay, this looks like it might be, maybe not. I mean, I get excited. Two dollars. Yay. That'd be some stuff if they literally saved the last big win for the last ticket. Okay, last ticket. As I wipe away four more pounds of scratch dust. Alright, so it looks like that's where we end. Two $10 wins. Seem to be the best that was in here. So now you guys know what to expect, possibly. We got two, three, seven, eight, nine, 19, 20, 30, 31, 32, 36, 37, 39, 43, 44, 46, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58. 60, 61, 62. Yep, that's about what we were expecting. 62 back on 100, so definitely could have been worse. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Please play responsibly, and oh, my God, I got a lot of scratch dust. <laughs> have a good one.